Hello beautiful people. So in this video we're just going to go over a simple yoni steam or vaginal steam using herbs from the garden. Now I did choose these herbs specifically and they just so happen to also be in the yard. Um, so there was thought put into that but you can also purchase herbs whether they be dried or fresh I am showing you what I was working with and I am grateful enough to be able to walk outside and harvest these herbs to use for today's yoni steam so the first herb we are collecting is oregano I'm sure you have some of that around the house Yoni steaming is an art that is very sacred and very ancient. Women have used yoni steaming throughout history as a way to heal the womb, as a way to keep up with the vaginal maintenance, as a way to include self-care and ritual in some ways. There are some cultures that before a woman would get married, um, this would be a part of what would happen before she was presented to her husband. There's some cultures where this was just normal upkeep for the women or for the queen or for whoever the women were that they deemed important or significant. So yoni steaming throughout history has been a normal thing. And as you can see in modern day media, it's slowly coming back. Um, women are finding their ways back to taking care of their wombs. So the last herb you saw was Damiana. And now we have basil. Hey basil, how you doing? How you doing? This is just a list of herbs that I chose to use this go around, but you don't have to use these herbs. You can use things like red clover, red raspberry leaves, calendula, all types of herbs. Just do your research and figure out which herbs best suit what it is you're trying to do for your own womb. Now all you need is a stool or some type of chair to sit on. I used what I had, a pot. This stool actually came with my apartment, so it really was just something I had. And I bought this pot at the store. But you want to make sure that your pot is placed just slightly under the stool, so that way some of the pot is hidden from the top. Like if you look at it from the top of you. You see how I'm putting my hand here? Yeah, you get the picture. And you want to do that to make sure that the pot is sitting directly under your yoni. The next item you need is a long skirt, a flowy long skirt, preferably, a blanket, and a nice space that you feel comfortable in. So normally my skirt would be longer than this, but the skirt I usually use was getting washed. So if you're gonna use a stool like I did, then you wanna make sure that you're sitting on the edge of the stool. You wanna really Pull up your butt cheeks, like, I know that sounds kind of vulgar or crazy, but for real, you want to get on your butt cheeks and you want to make sure that 
Your yoni is hanging off of the stool over the pot. And then you wanna spread your skirt out around the stool, creating kind of a tent. And then you'll take the blanket and you'll wrap the blanket around your skirt, creating an even bigger, wider tent. Really making sure to cover up the back of the stool and the front of the stool. That way you don't let any of the steam out. I usually tuck the top of my blanket into the top of my skirt too, just so I can feel a little more secure. And don't have to worry about it falling. And then once you've created your tent, you're pretty much ready. You can check the pot and see if the steam is at a temperature that is comfortable enough. I usually just slowly take the top of the pot off just to get myself comfortable to the humidity and the heat. And then once you remove the top and you begin your steam, just allow yourself to relax, to breathe, do a little bit of stretching, meditating, journaling, whatever feels comfortable. Remember, this is a ritual. This is a form of self-care. So make sure that you allow yourself to be present and to focus on whatever may be coming up for you. And to also allow yourself to release anything around your womb health or thoughts about your womb or femininity that no longer serve you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. Let me know if you've ever done a yoni steam before. What type of herbs do you normally use? Have you ever used any of the ones that I've mentioned here? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a friend. And yeah, it's your girl the Head Alchemist. Signing out.